It's definitely relaxing. It's my vacation. In fact, I'd rather make soap than go on vacation. So that's strange, but I like it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Anja Lnarzewska and I am an assistant professor at Mercer University in sports marketing and analytics program and I make luxury skincare. I was always interested in skincare and I really wanted quality product for myself, uh, but it was expensive, so I wanted to make sure that I get quality ingredients without paying the price. Unfortunately, when you start making your own skincare, it becomes pricier than actually buying your own, but still I have a lot of comfort that I have good quality skincare for myself and now for my customers. Traditional soap requires fats, either plant-based fats or animal fats, and sodium hydroxide to go through saponification process and turn the oil into soap. I do uh, both plant-based um, and animal-based fats. I partner with Oliver Farm, uh, which is a local artisan oil company. So I visited their sunflower uh, fields, so I know where the, my sunflowers come from. Shea butter I use from Ghana, and sometimes Benin, Africa. The milk comes from my own goats, uh, and I'm very happy to have that. Although it's not always easy because I have to milk them before work. And then I include fresh milk in my soap. Then I also use herbs from my garden, local honey. Sometimes I order individual molds from Poland because I'm from Poland and I support Polish artists and he makes wonderful molds, individual molds. Sometimes I make my own. Most typically, I use soap molds in a large loaf where I can then cut it. So to have a design in, in the soap, you have to pour it in a certain way, pour it into loaf mold in a certain way, so once you cut it, it shows the design. In my case, I like to sculpture inside by either creating flowers or houses or stars or whatever other shape I desire out of uh, soap dough, which is pliable soap. So when I swirl the soap, what I do, I usually pour my soap into a loaf mold and then I will have some more soap in a different container that I usually will color with a different color and then I will just pour it across to uh, create swirls. Once the soap is done, I will cut it and then I will stamp it. I really like uh, hand painting certain elements of soap with mineral mica to get a special wow effect. It's definitely relaxing. It's very different from what I do on a daily basis, which is marketing, analytics, looking at numbers. It's a time where I have to be alone uh, because of uh, sodium hydroxide, so no kids, and it's just time to get away. It's my vacation. In fact, I'd rather make soap than go on vacation. I would like to grow Lux Leonis large enough to where I can offer job opportunities here. I also offer internship opportunities to students who basically learn branding, marketing under my wing, which is extension of what I teach. The interesting part when selling skincare is that people are concerned about trying new skincare, especially from a handmade business because there's fear of trying new stuff. But once they try, it's it's like a new world open up to them and they go low out. 2020 taught us something that we actually need self-care and little luxuries are important for our well-being, mental well-being. So taking every minute to yourself and enjoying every minute of your life, I think is very important and we should celebrate ourselves. So I think soap should be used. <laughs>